Danfoss just launched a new pressure sensor program. This new program is based on a new electronic platform, which will take us to the next level in terms of signal conditioning within sensor technologies. It will be a strong basis for many of our future development projects, fully supporting our journey on our digitalization path. It enables new software and programmable features, which allows us to adapt fast and easy to your application needs. Another advantage given by this electronics are new self-diagnostic features. Today, more than 50% of our field return sensors are proven to be not defective. The self-diagnostic features are developed in order to help you on your root cause analysis in often costly shutdown situations, where time is money. Monitoring health of the sensor will help you to prevent damage during normal operation, as well as reducing your critical downtime. It will minimize your warranty cost, enable fast troubleshooting in the field, enhance the complaint handling and failure analysis in general. The diagnostics will happen in two stages, a power-up stage and a runtime stage. Power-up means every time the sensor is powered up, it will run a self-check routine. Runtime means on the fly, while it's operating as a pressure sensor, it has time enough to run a self-check routine as well. The self-check routines consist of internal power supply monitoring, internal memory check, broken sensor detection, as well as built-in watchdog timers in our software. In order to enable diagnostics, we need to make room for an error signal in our pressure signal band. This is done by clamping the upper or the lower signal end. If the sensor detects an internal failure, it will simply pull the output signal to a well-defined level outside the standard operational range. The controller will then immediately know that there is a sensor failure situation and can react fast and pull the system into a fail-safe mode. The signal clamping levels as well as the error signal positioning are programmable and flexible and hence can be defined by the customer. In case you have a ratiometric output version, the low leakage current of the sensor itself will help the controller to recognize harness fault conditions through use of a pull-down or pull-up resistor at the control interface allowing to recognize loss of supply or loss of ground situations. This again will help you to minimize warranty and troubleshooting time. I hope that you have enjoyed this simple walkthrough of some of our new sensor electronic features. Please feel free to reach out if you have any questions or comments concerning our new electronics. Thank you for listening. <laughs>